What do you think he's actually doing up there? I have no idea, but I could probably do that. Hi, I'm Ryan, and from my experience, what you just saw right there is pretty much the general line of thinking when it comes to DJing and electronic dance music in general. But rather than make outrageous claims like I just did, I thought, why not substantiate them by finding out what a DJ actually does, what makes a good DJ, and finally, answering the burning question, is it really that easy? Can anybody actually DJ, even a silly individual like myself? Probably not, but let's find out. So I decided to come to a rave and find out if anybody here could tell me what a DJ actually does and what makes a DJ good. Uh, obviously I'm at the right place, right? No? All right, let's find out. You guys are EDM experts. What does a DJ actually do on stage? They push buttons. Pick songs that are gonna make people dance and just hit play, whatever. Let's say hypothetically I trained with a DJ coach for a week. Do you think I could deliver a solid set in one week? Yes. You? Yeah, me. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anything can happen, right? So I would say yes. Vote of confidence from the second banana? That's good. <laughs> Guys, look at this face. He could do it. He could definitely. If you train, then yeah. So there was my challenge. One week to figure out how to DJ before a real live crowd. But lucky for me, I managed to get the headline DJs to sit down with me before they went on stage. What are you doing when you're on stage? You have two tracks, different tempo. You pitch the one so they're basically the same tempo and then try to make a transition of, between them. That sounds good. That's the technical part of it. Uh, really technical, yeah. but not the spiritual part. Yeah, I would say like having fun. A lot of people think like you should give the crowd what they want, uh -huh. but you should, you should always give them what they didn't know that they wanted. That was very, very just Confucius like. Yeah, but that's what it is. It's that factor of like surprise. Just feel out the rhythm. Yeah, and it's like, Take them for a ride. I've been told that I have the rhythm of a dead body by my parents. <laughs> DJ dead body. DJ dead body, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you think anybody could DJ? Getting the technical, just like mix this track, do like this. That's I, I would say that's fairly easy, but getting to your next step where you can just purely relax, don't think at all, just have fun, that's another step. And I have a week to get to that point, so. Uh... Also, we're two, so we're kind of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have two brains, okay. From yeah. the technical point of view, you definitely can learn to DJ in a week if you're musical to start with. You can do this. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I can, but like the more people tell me yeah, you I can. can. Okay. After that confidence boost from Dada Life, I was ready to start training. So I met with my DJ coach, Say My Name, at his house. You have track A and track B. Your mixer allows you to beat match or blend the two. If you're not ready and you just throw a track on, it's gonna sound like a train wreck, which is just basically... This sounds about yeah, what mine's probably gonna sound like. If that happens to me on stage, will you still admit that you coached me or will you probably just bow your head in shame? I'll just look away. At what point do I get to purple nurple the little... Oh wait, let me play with that a little bit. Yeah, yeah you're getting it. On this CDJ we have Kick Out The Epic, which is originally at 128 beats per minute. And we have a hard trap song uh, that's originally at 150 beats per minute. So you can hear this track coming in. You hear that? That's this track. Now ready to kill this track. And now I can bring the BPM of this track back up to 150 beats per minute. Okay. Now I'm warning you, this is a pretty hard, you know, it's, all, it's hard trap, it's intense. It's a sound I'm working on, it's a sound I've made. And it's, you know, it's, it's crazy. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. Add some effect. You hear the trap? <laughs> so yeah, so. I got slightly aroused right there, I'm not gonna lie. When you did that mix, you katana the shit out of that. It was just like uh, a ninja. Thanks, man, yeah. They're way opposite, you know, BPM ranges, and you gotta figure out how to bring them in in front of an audience and 
make it sound good, you know? Introduce our celebrity DJ judges. Say my name. <laughs> Dada Life. <laughs> Let's go out and kill this thing. Oh, f up. Buzzy's very own Ryan Bagara, AKA DJ Dead Body. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Transition master. Let's hear it from Say My Name. Yo, Ryan, you killed it, bro. I saw the headphone cord just like pop out, and you're just like, what's going on? But you recovered quickly, and you made it just in time for that transition. I'm giving you a 10 for that, dude. Like 10 out of 10, solid. <laughs> uh, and all right, now we're gonna hear from Dada Life. Okay, good work for one week. But your moves kind of look like DJs in a movie. They feel <laughs> feel kind of forced. Overall, we're really happy. Good work being a DJ, but don't quit your day job. <laughs> Look at how happy I am right there. Anyways, what makes a good DJ? Hard work in the studio and being able to live in the moment. Can anybody DJ? I guess so. Granted, I had a lot of help and I didn't make any of the songs that I just used. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I have a lot more respect for DJs in general, and unless you want to take it seriously and put the time in, don't plan on DJing anytime soon. And that's a fact. 